Hello, so I spent a little bit more time working on this cloud system uh, thing and you can see that it's evolved quite a bit uh, and one of the things that happens is as you zoom in the clouds get more detailed. They never get hugely detailed just yet because I haven't figured out the best way to do that but they do get significantly more detailed uh, to the point where you can start to see the individual trails like that and uh, I don't know if you noticed, let me go ahead and go over here to the night side just for a little here that is the night side uh, if I zoom in here and then I go over to the scene view you can see what's happened is that it's only rendering clouds within the camera's field of vision actually it's a little bit a little bit forgiving but that's so that if you move the camera you don't uh, suddenly see bald spots but that lets us really get more detail out of the clouds in that area um, because we don't have to calculate all of the other clouds that are far away and off screen. So the next steps, I don't know if there are any actually uh, at this moment. I'm going to go probably right back to working on the Minecraft mech stuff uh, and maybe build some solar wing uh, stuff later on. But um, you know, lots of stuff to do. This is probably just going to go on pause for now. Uh, as you can see, the weather patterns I've got can get kind of interesting looking, but they're not realistic, and they're not really supposed to be. The core idea is to give someone who's orbiting the planet um, a little bit of interesting uh, choice. You know, you, you see that you might, where you had planned to land, there might be uh, an annoying cloud coming in or something similar. So the idea is that you have uh, a fair amount of cloud cover and it's not 100% predictable um, but things like hurricanes and stuff we just have to treat these dense cloud covers as hurricanes there's no actual spiraling mechanic I couldn't figure out how to build one um, without actually turning to simulation and I didn't want to turn to simulation I've got to figure out how to make these close-up clouds look much more realistic. I haven't really figured that out yet. Well, that's it. Thanks.